Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Steven. And we're here as part of UWA South Korea Study Tour. We're at SKKU or Sungkyung Kwan University. And check out the Samsung Library behind us here. We're here to learn more about cybersecurity from world leading experts in the field. This is the field. We asked postgraduate students at SKKU's Cybersecurity Lab to share their experiences studying here in Korea. I'm nothing in real world. <laughs> I'm nothing in real world, but in the, in the internet, on the internet. I can, do, I can do something or build something or make a program or hack someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if, if, if I can do that, uh, I think I thought something, I, I, I thought be something like I feel my power, mm -hmm. so that's why I'm interested in hacking, yeah, okay. cyber security. Korea is at the forefront of technological advances, and the university facilities are no exception. There are many specialized labs where students can work in a supportive environment under the guidance of an experienced mentor. Korean males often fulfill their two year compulsory military service after graduating from university. I have to now satisfy the Korean army duty. So next year I will graduate this same lab and after I have to go army or other company which replace the, the Korea duty to other works. Actually our lab has good environment to work okay. very hard. <laughs> uh, everything is uh, possible in our lab. Uh, I mean, uh, staff, uh, uh, capabilities, everything is uh, available here. I can do many things, whatever I want. I mean, if you want to do one, uh, do your research in network area, it's also, ca it's also possible because he know that and blockchain or whatever. Okay. So I love that. They invest so much in technology again because that's the major point for me that I have good access to a GPU and stuff so yeah that's good for my work Wassan Ali explained his doctorate research including topics such as indoor versus outdoor detection for smartphones my research is in three groups uh, first is location determination uh, technology about how we can uh, determine the location of user in indoor or outdoor. Uh, that's using uh, signals around us like Wi-Fi signals, Bluetooth signals, cellular signals. Actually, we uh, I developed the uh, Android applications in smartphones such that we can collect this data and then based on this data. Uh, after collecting this data, we do some pre-processing to remove noisy data, uh, irrelevant data. And then after that, we use, actually, I'm working in machine learning and uh, neural network, deep learning, such that this classification algorithm can be used to identify the accurate location of the user inside indoor environments. We would like to thank the amazing people at Sung Kyung Kwan University. Korea University and Seoul Women's University for hosting our study tour. Special thanks to Dr. Jin Hong for making this tour possible.